Anna Tomasetti, and we're here talking about solitary beads. And today I'm going to show you how to make a solitary bead box. What you'll need is instructions. You can find these when you attend a workshop, and they'll give you your supply list and your basic instructions. With that, let me show you how to make one. First off, you're going to need your bead box material. This is an unpressurized tweeted, excuse me, um, four by four post, cedar. It's what the bees are going to like. Then you're going to want to get a fence slab. This is gonna be made for your roof to protect the bees. This does not have to be unpressurized. It can be treated to help protect the rain. So let me show you what you do. First of all, you take a template. This will give you a grid of nine holes. You lay this on your bee box, put your pencil, or a pen, it doesn't matter which, mark your holes. Once you've got those marks, you'll have a good idea where you need to get your holes. With that, you take a drill. You will need to use a drill bit about 5 eighths in length, excuse me, in diameter. Length is not as important, but if you use a one like this, you're going to need to be very careful that you don't drill all the way through. So you may want to take a piece of tape and mark where you need to stop. So let's begin. You just come up here. These are bee pollinator plants. These plants attract bees to eat with the nectar and the pollen that are produced in each of these flowers. The shape of the flower is very important for the bees and the nectar and pollen. You can see the bumblebee at the top of the plant collecting pollen and nectar.